Hello YouTube, LegoBoy1624 coming at you with another diecast review, and this is on Denny Hamlin's 2013 FedEx Ground Toyota Camry, and he drives for Joe Gibbs Racing. Now, this review is somewhat special, because we have a few guests on the line on Skype, so if you just, if you guys want to work some way out to say hello, just uh, say hello. Hey guys, Race H111 here. Joe Donahue in the house. Alright, so we have Race Day 2011, Joe Donahue, and M&M's 2418, also known as uh, Josh. He unfortunately has to instant message all of his thoughts, so I will just read them off to you guys. Anyway, here's a 360 view of the car in the box, and here it is. What do you guys think of this box? It's bland. They should have stayed stuck with what they had before. Yeah, you know what? I mean, I thought it was cool with the Gen 6 boxes, the cars on them, but you know what? It's too generic now. They really need to get out with the uh, individual designs like they had back in 2008, 2009. Yeah, I have to agree with you. Let's see, does Josh say anything? No, he doesn't. Does he? No, he doesn't. Does he? He's typing a message. Um... Uh, let me just move the box aside. Here's the car. He says no. All right. Here's the car. Here's a 360 view of this die cast. Here's the left side and everything. The main colors of this car are black, green, white, and purple. And that's basically it. It's a relatively simple paint scheme. And I know you guys hate when I do this, but we're going to go over the paint scheme now. At least Rob and Seth usually hate that I do this. Anyway, the base color of this car is black. The roof rails and shark fin are black. The side skirts are slightly decorated. The splitter is black, and the spoiler is green and black. So, as I said, the base coat of this car is black, and we have this simple white explosion that, as you get further towards the edges of the explosion, it turns to green and fades to purple, and that's the entire paint scheme. The rest of the car is black. Uh, do, what do you guys think about this paint scheme? Overall, it needs, needs a little change after after a couple of years, but you know what? I mean, it, it's still a lot better than what it used to be. I mean, Hamlet's paint scheme's gotten better and better since he started back in 2006. I still remember the days where it was just a strip of green at the bottom. I mean, it, it comes a time where it just needs to go, and I believe next year is probably the year it needs to change. And Joe, what do you think about it? I don't like that either. Okay. Um, it's good, I guess. I you like it better than the express car because the express car's orange. Blah blah blah. I don't like any of Denny Hamlin's cars except for the Jason Mosley tribute. I agree. Now, with that. now that is gonna be a nice car to have. Are they? Did they officially announce they're gonna make it? No, they didn't. Josh also says that he thinks the paint scheme looks pretty good, and that was Kenny Murray that said that he didn't like any of the Denny Hamlin cars. But uh, anyway, uh, moving on with the review, we have uh, the, the sponsors of this review. We have FedEx Ground and Hamlin's name on the windshield, and time for a mini rant on my part. They have the updated font for this uh, name on the windshield, and here's what I mean. Let me just grab uh, my Trevor Bain car quickly. Here it is. Here's my Trevor Bain car. It has the updated font. And the four logos, or actually the manufacturer badges. This car does not. I can understand why Lionel does not have the badges, because this car was, um, I guess, supposed to be made before it actually did, so they wanted to make it look like they uh, made it before they did. But if since they made it when they did, I think it should have the manufacturer badges. Do you do any of you guys agree, or is that just my opinion? 
Yeah, they need the, the manufacturer badges on there. Well, they do, but I, I think that they made this car way be- like beforehand that they knew that it was going to be made. So, yeah, to give them a break on that one. Plus, it does look a lot, much of a car. It, it just looks a lot better without it because it'll look really weird compared to the FedEx Express one, which does not have it as well. True. They made a mistake, they have a mistake on the 124s, which kind of sucks. And Josh chooses to not make a statement. Moving on with the sponsors, we have Toyota Camry 11. Uh, your usual contendencies with a green Goodyear. For whatever reason, they decided to make it green, probably to blend in with the explosion. We have Goodyear Spring Cup Series NASCAR race car. Denny Hamlet Signature Coca-Cola number 11. Uh, Do Sand Mag Tools, Sharon Williams, Paints, Freightliner, and something else. What, Joe? Blends in with the explosion. That's a first. Quiet, you. The green flash. <laughs> we have Toyota on the window, FedEx ground, American ethanol. Nothing on the quarter panel except the last bit of the explosion. As you can kind of see right there. Yeah, you can see that. If you can't, too bad. We have Toyota, FedEx.com, Toyota, and 11, as well as Joe Gibbs Racing. Which, why they did not put it on the front is beyond me. But anyway, we have FedEx ground on the deck lid. Number 11 and FedEx ground on the roof, and this side is the same. So, moving on with the logos, uh, Fed and ground are white, X is green, Hamlin is white, Camry is black. The Toyota, or the number 11, on the uh, side, front, and back, they are white, outlined in purple, outlined in green, and the one on top is green, outlined in purple, outlined in white. All the FedEx ground logos are identical. American Ethanol is white outlined in green. FedEx.com is white. Toyota is green. And we just have more FedEx ground logos. So, here's something I usually don't do. Let's count how many times FedEx is on this car. We have one on the hood. Two, three, four, five, six times on this car. We have FedEx six times on this car. That's not too bad. So, um, now, moving on to a comparison of this car, um, I do have the 2011 version and the 2007 version since Rob mentioned the boring green stripe car. So here's a quick look with the, uh, let me see if I can get all three cars here. Okay, here we go. Here's the 2013, the 2011, and the 2007. Obviously, major, major differences between all of them. Um... Yeah. Moving around to the back, let me just quickly do the backs of these cars. They're almost all identical, actually. At least the 2013 and 2011 are pretty similar. However, the 2007 is a little different. And let me just do the... Uh, the, the hoods are all the same, so let me just do the hoods of the 2011 and 2013. Uh, moving around to the sides of these cars. 2007 car just kind of vanished in midair. He's, he's kind of gone now for the comparison. I just wanted to show off the front and back. And here's the roof of the cars. Let's see here. There he is. There we go. And the right side. So overall, a pretty clumsy comparison, but nevertheless, uh, at least you got to see the 2013 versus the 2011 versus 2007. So, this pretty much sums up this review, I think. This is a Lionel NASCAR collectibles car with black plastic tires, white plastic chassis, window net, interior details. Clear plastic window and a die cast body. So, if I were to give this car a rating, I would honestly give it a 7 out of 10. Don't get me wrong, I love this paint scheme, but um, it needs to change, I think. It, it, it looks alright on the new style body. Uh, I think it could look a little bit better, but nevertheless, it looks alright, I think. What do you guys think about this car, and what would you rate it? I say the same thing, man. I mean, I love the paint scheme. It's probably his best that he's ever driven, but 
it still just needs a little updating. I mean, uh, three years of the same paint scheme. I mean, nowadays, you really don't see that much anymore, but I just think they need a little update in the paint scheme. But overall, it's actually a really nice car. I would give it an 8 out of 10. And, Joe, what, what, what would you say about this car? I guess I'd give it a... I'd probably do the same, get it an 8 out of 10. It's a good-looking car. It's just, you know, I wish they would change it up a little bit with what they were doing. Mm-hmm. And Josh says, I think it... Kenny rates it a 5 out of 10. <laughs> and Josh says, I think it looks pretty nice, and I'll give it an 8 out of 10. He also says it needs an update. So, Kenny Murray once again says 5 out of 10. So, that pretty much wraps up this review. We heard you, Kenny. So, that pretty much sums up... The, uh, that pretty much sums up this review. Thank you all for watching. And everyone on this call, thank you for having... Or, thank you for joining in. So, go subscribe to Race Day 2011. Joe Donahue. M&M's 2418. And Dirt 5M. Links will all be in the description down below. So, without further ado, that wraps up this video. And Lego Boy 1624, Race Day 2011, Joe Donahue, and Eminem's 2418, and possibly Dirt 5M. Reminding you to join the fight to stop bullying. Because if we work together, it will get better. I will see you next time in whatever video I upload next. So long, everyone.